Hey guys, another great day to be alive and to do another unboxing of an electric skateboard. This is the affordable Blink S skateboard from a company called Acton. All right guys, so this is probably the most affordable skateboard that I paid $2.99 for. It's on sale right now through holidays, this holidays. I think normally like 350 or 400 or something like that. Anyway, the reason why I got this is I wanted to find an affordable skateboard without going over 300 bucks. Boom shakalaka. There is a charger, a remote. I actually unboxed this a few days ago um, because I, you know, I couldn't wait, but I'm actually just redoing the unboxing here. So this is the board. It is actually very, very small. This is the smallest electric skateboard I've actually ordered. As you can see, very good build quality. It's got this um, huge battery bank that goes, um, that's really sleekly designed. And it's got a power button here. It's got lights on the side. It's got brake lights and it's got headlights. So it's gonna come in really handy at night. It's only got one motor, all right? That's the motor. It's a hub motor, one motor, single motor e-skateboard. Let me actually go ahead and show you what's in the rest of the box. So remote comes uh, with actually two AAA batteries. So I really like that they didn't make this rechargeable because for remotes, the battery lasts forever. I think have battery is a better option for the remote itself. It's basically got up, down, and you can reverse it, right? You can go for a reverse. And also you've got an uh, adapter, charge it right here. All right, and it's a it's a 42 volt at two amps. So this got about five miles of range, which isn't huge, but it's gonna work out for those of you on short commutes, or you just need an electric skateboard that you wanna just sort of play with. Let me go ahead and demonstrate real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the remote, and that's forward. And you can go ahead and stop. So most of these hub boards, they'll go forward and when it stops, it doesn't go reverse. Whereas something like a, something like a boosted board, you can actually reverse also. But one of the good things with the hub based board is there's no friction, all right? Which means you can ride it just like a regular skateboard um, if you run out of battery. So I think this is a great option for those of you who want an electric skateboard that's not too powerful. That's something that you could start on. I mean, I would say the boosted board is, is a suicide machine in comparison. Let me go ahead and compare it with you guys. Let me go ahead and compare real quick with my boosted board here. And it's much longer. Oh, it's slightly longer, maybe a few inches, but it's much, much heavier. And let me go ahead and show you my boosted board in comparison. So this is belt driven, belt base, so it's got more torque. But problem is it's a lot louder. You can see the hub base. That's all the noise it makes. With the boosted board. It's much more power. But at the same time, it's much, much louder. If you wanna be, uh, and also it's much heavier. This is 17 pounds. This is 17 pounds versus the Blink S is only 11 pounds. So I really love the Boosted Mini S. Again, I just wanted to find something that's a little bit more affordable. This, this is actually a gift for my friend. And I didn't want to get him a full Boosted Mini S because it's too much power. This is only $2.99 versus the Boosted Mini S I got here is $7.50. I did get to test this out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the clips that I took from the beach. Hi guys, just a quick test uh, with my new board. Blink SR. Uh, I'm at the beach here, obviously. It's got pretty simple remotes, um, just up and down. Um, there's also a forward or rear. You can go backwards. So let's get let's go and check it out. So this is a uh, a single hub means only one of the wheels actually spins. So there's some um, there's a lot of sand out here right now. So whenever I go through the sand, it has a little bit of a tougher time. Um, it's not too bad, uh, but once I get out of it, I can go pretty fast. I don't know, maybe roughly like, I don't know, maybe like 15 miles per hour. Let me get out of this all this sand. This board is really not that powerful, so you don't want to go into um, too much steep hills. 
um, I would say just just a very um, just a small small hill will, will work out but definitely it's not gonna work out if you're gonna ride this in the San Francisco and going up these steep hills um, I'm actually going at full speed now this is full speed so it's nowhere fast as my uh, booster board obviously but it, it does pretty fast I mean this is gonna get you around um, if you're just commuting on flat ground Maybe you live in the middle of Nebraska or something, there's no hills. This is gonna work out perfect because you won't have to spend so much. Um, let me actually go over here. And stopping works pretty good also. Yeah, not too bad. So it's just got one motor, you could say, and it's hub driven. Um, and there's no there's no friction uh, almost no friction there's just one little bit of friction on that that motor wheel um, also there's a bunch of led lights obviously it's just gonna be really cool very good build you can see here um it's nicely on there everything uh unibody here nothing to really break it's a very good design as far as uh uh as far as durability this should be water resistance. Uh, I just wouldn't drive it in the rain. Exactly. Uh, but the board itself, this is probably one of the smallest boards you can get. This is a little bit smaller than my boosted S. And this should this should actually fit in the luggage. And I also like the low profile. When you uh, when you don't have motor, you can literally just um, just push it. So let me go ahead and show you pushing it. So I'm just gonna push it. I'm not using the remote. And there's no friction because it's hub driven. So this is sort of, if you want that extra power when you need it, but you still wanna like sort of use it as a uh, skateboard, I think that's what it's for. So with no power, it's just like a regular skateboard. It runs actually pretty good. The wheels are big enough uh, where you can go uh, pretty fast with no motor. Now, let's say you need the motor, go ahead and use this, and it just kicks in real nice. All right. The so pretty good motor, watch when I brake. It's sort of harder to brake with this. Obviously, there's less power, um, but you can also go backwards, just hit the reverse. And I can go backwards. You see, I'm, my board's backwards. All right, real easy to go backwards uh, or or front. Yeah, I'm just going backwards. Pretty cool uh, board. I try to actually uh, go up the hills. It it doesn't go anywhere. Anything anything more than like this, maybe a few a few degrees, maybe five degrees you're not gonna make it up the hill. But if you're not going up any hills, you know, anything less than about here, about five degrees, you should be just fine. So really like this board that it's really small, uh, slim profile. Obviously, there's only one wheel, um, so you don't have that power. But at the same time, if you've never been on an e-skateboard, electric skateboard, and I would actually recommend starting out with this one because the Boosted S, uh, any of the boosted boards, they, they're like suicide machines for people who've never boarded um, because they simply have too much power. This one is definitely beginner friendly. It just doesn't have enough power to even go up uh, steep hills, which is actually good. If you just want to learn uh, electric skateboard, um, you need something that's real light. This is the lightest board I bought. I think it's like 10, 11 pounds. Yeah, the boosted board is, starts at uh, 16, 17 pounds for the Mini S. So it's super light. If you don't need that extra power, you just need some electric power just for flat ground. This is gonna work out perfect. I think so. And very nice, again, very nicely built. It's only got one wire going to the hub. The motor itself is completely enclosed. As you can see, water resistance, a very good design. Now I would definitely like to see more powerful version of the Blink S in this size without going bigger. Um, I also heard you can actually add on um your own custom uh, power bank here through here so maybe i might do that but i really like the board uh it's very smooth 
it just doesn't have enough power but for 299 i think this is a great option for those of you who don't want to pay too much um and you can carry this literally everywhere now for the final test we'll go ahead and uh go on our butt all right Yeah, it works pretty good. It's good for butt boarding also. Hello, doggy. Hello. <laughs> works really good on your butt. Real smooth ride when you sit down. Really like it. Pretty good for for the price. Two ninety nine. You can't beat a very good um, build quality. I think it's on sale for uh, Christmas holidays, so I would definitely pick one up uh, by the end of this year. I just got this for uh, just for fun. I just want to check out which is the best board you can buy. You know they got like two hundred uh, watt boards. That's like one hundred and fifty dollars, hundred bucks. I mean those things are kind of useless. At least this one has got five hundred watts. You got enough power to actually go pretty fast without killing yourself you know it's not the best in the world but this again this is for those of you who want to go electric but also want to enjoy you know the the physical stuff so this is going to be great even if you run out of electricity oh this board goes super fast look at that absolutely no electricity and when you run out of power then you can go ahead and apply the electricity and boom and you're ready to go Pretty nice board. I really love the lights. I'm gonna definitely have a full review of it, um, but for right now, yeah, I'm really impressed with this board, especially the build quality. For something under 300 bucks, without too much power, uh, you're just getting started with electric skateboards. I think this is a much better choice than boosted boards. All right guys, so overall, the Blink S, um, pretty awesome board. I really like the small form factor. And I really like the low profile, which means you can ride it as a, like a regular skateboard. Most these skateboards are very, the, the clearance is very high, uh, which makes it hard to push without power. So I think this is a great board if you have kits that want an e-skateboard, but you don't want to pay like 750 for a boosted Mini S, or you want to get them something that's safe. This has enough power where you can go fast enough on flat ground without really risking your life. Where's the Mini S? Oh man, it is so fast. If you don't know what you're doing, you can really kill yourself easily. Anyway, I really like this. Only 11 pounds. This is the smallest board. Again, if you're looking for a good Christmas gift, you know, if your kids are getting into e-skateboards, I think this is a great starter board. As long as you don't live on hills, you live on flat ground, this is going to work out perfect. This is all they need. I'll let them get started on this when they get good. And then you can get the more powerful Mini S or other more powerful boards. Overall, really impressed with the overall build quality. This is one solid piece. Really, I really love the form factor. I'll have a full review eventually. Maybe I'll do a range test. But for right now, looking pretty awesome. I can definitely recommend for those of you who want to get started with an e-skateboard. This is definitely one of the best beginner boards you can buy out there right now. Also, the fact that it's so light, it's only 11 pounds versus a lot of boosted boards are at least 17 pounds, 20 pounds. Um, this you're gonna be able to lug around work real easy. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the link in the description below. Have a great day, and as always, stay whole on e skateboards. Click here to subscribe. To subscribe.